Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my night routine. Keep in mind that I am still fighting a little cold here, so I know my voice is a little more grisly than normal. But here I am just brushing my hair out. I was preparing to hop in the shower and I just turned the water on as you could see to let it warm up a little bit. But whenever I curl my hair, my hair gets really knotted and tangly, um, like if I curl it with a curling wand. So I decided to brush it out so that I could avoid any knots and tangling as much as I could for after the shower. Um, my hair, when it's being that it's curly, already gets knotted and tangly fairly easy, so I like to eliminate any possibilities of any knots, extra knots that I can. So then I hopped in my shower. It was very warm. This is the shampoo and conditioner I use. It's Nexus brand from Costco. It does work really well, especially with my naturally curly hair. I absolutely love it. But after my shower, I just obviously hop out and I get changed into some clean clothes. Um, I After this, I decided to floss and brush my teeth. I always floss at night and I always floss before I brush. And I do this because I feel it's more clean to floss your teeth, get everything out from in between your teeth, and then just brush it all away. But I spared you guys most of me brushing my teeth. But then, because we are traveling and I am kind of trying to figure out what I like to do with my skin routine, I just use a Neutrogena makeup wipe to wipe down my face, get on any dirt and grime off of it, which I know is not the best, but... It is what we are working with. And then I use some of the Mario Bredestrio, I think is how you say his name, the rose water spray that I got for Christmas on my face. And then I just dried my scalp a little more with my towel and I brushed out my long, tangly hair. I don't know who else is like me, but I never like to get out of the shower, especially I was not feeling the best this night. So the warm water felt really good, so I was just kind of trying to hurry the rest of this up so I could hop in bed and get snuggled up and comfortable again. After this, for Christmas, I did get a new journal. Um, I was really good about journaling on my mission, but since I came home, I've not been the best. So I decided to write down everything, like the major events of the last year, and what I felt like I'd want to reread later, and um, then I updated on the last couple of weeks, which obviously, as you guys have known, have been a little crazy with me being notified that I'm going to be laid off and my transportation kind of cropping out. So I had a lot to write about. This is what I walked out on when I went to go take some NyQuil. It's the microwave lid it got melted. But I came out to get NyQuil because, like I said, I still am fighting a cold. So I use this honey flavored cold and flu NyQuil. And I read the instructions, don't worry. And I poured myself the amount that I'm supposed to have and then take it. I really hope that I feel better tomorrow. Today I slept a lot of the day because I did not feel the best. So hopefully this helps me feel better tomorrow and don't worry guys I did rinse out the cup after I was done but next I always 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 read my scriptures at night it helps me feel centered it helps me learn about who I want to become and how I can be a better person and a better disciple of Christ um, no matter what you believe I believe that it's best to center yourself at night and get ready for bed. I'm just showing you where I am in my scriptures. Normally when we're home, I do have my paper scriptures, but because we are traveling, I just decided to use my iPad and spare the extra room. But 
Cody and I always study together at night, and I typically study by myself as well. Just because, like I said, it helps me feel closer to my Heavenly Father, and it helps me learn how to be more like Him. But always after I read my scriptures, I turn on a show, and this really just helps me fall asleep. I like to watch something, usually the TV stays on, unless I wake up to turn it off, until Cody comes to bed at like 2 a.m. after he's done playing his game. So here I am, just turning on my show for the night, and then I just decided to turn the lights off, snuggle into bed, and try to go to sleep. But thank you all for coming and watching my night routine. And please like and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow for the next video. Bye.